Lucy. I have my hat and today I am bringing you my TBR for the month of April. There are two big things happening in April that are going to affect my reading. One of them is the fact that I'm going on vacation a few days and I probably won't have a lot of time to read during that time even though I will have airplane reading time. The second thing is I have decided to take part uh, in a readathon for the very first time and that is Genrethon from April 10th to 17th. It is being hosted by four lovely booktubers. Those are Joss from Squibbles Reads, Brittany from Under the Radar Books, Kristen from Vienna Waits Books, and Lauren from Lauren and the Books. They have each done a lovely announcement video for this readathon. I'm going to link all of their videos for you and you can learn all of the details of this readathon, but basically the idea is that you read over the course of the week at least three books in three different genres. And you are allowed to include books that you start before the beginning of the readathon date, but finish during the week. So this seemed like a fairly modest readathon that I could actually achieve, so I decided to jump on in because a few of the books that I was planning on read are from genres that I haven't talked about on this channel yet. I have two books here that I definitely want to read during the genrethon week. The first is A Cozy Mystery. It is Death at Epsom Downs, a Victorian mystery by Robin Page. Robin Page is a pseudonym for uh, the husband and wife writing team of Susan Wittig Albert and Bill Albert. This is the seventh book in their Victorian slash Edwardian mystery series that they wrote together. And my mom and I have been together making our way through these books over several years. I took a pretty long break from reading them in college, but I um, semi-recently got back on bandwagon because I want to finish this series. This is a sort of very specific type of mystery book. Uh, I feel like this is a very specific subgenre of mystery. Um, and it's one that I really enjoy, even though it's lighter reading and maybe not as uh, intellectually stimulating. This is a fun series. And this, according to Publishers Weekly, is a neatly plotted tale of mayhem among the racing set. And the lady on the cover has a remarkable hat that I want. The next book I have here that should be a quick read is a memoir called The Gerbil Farmer's Daughter. This is by Holly Robinson. I haven't read a memoir in years. Um, and it's not a genre that I go to a lot, but this is a book that I was given as a gift maybe a year or two ago, and the person who gave it to me told me that it's a really fast read, and it looks to be a sort of quirky family story. And the cover of it, uh, as well as the cover of this book, looks springish, so I'm feeling like in the springy mood. So for other books that I want to read during Genrethon, my uh, TBR is actually a little flexible. I have a hold on Nimona from the library, but I don't know if it's going to come in in time. Of course, graphic novels are known for being good to read during readathons, and I don't usually read graphic novels. The only graphic novel I have ever read was Persepolis, which I read for school. So even if that doesn't come into the library in time, I might pick up a different graphic novel that is available at the library. We'll see. The other book I'm considering picking up for Genrethon is Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff because I have heard that this is a quick read and I usually read young adult very quickly anyways, and it is a YA sci-fi novel. And then, of course, I am keeping open to the possibility that I might start one of these other books that I have before Genrethon and finish it during Genrethon. So I'm being, I'm being very loose and flexible here. I have two books currently in progress that are carrying over from my uh, previous month's TBR, and the, that is Rite of Passage by Alexei Panshin. This is a coming-of-age sci-fi novel that I am almost done with. I'm probably going to finish this tonight. And The Return of the King, the final book in The Lord of the Rings. I'm uh, very excited uh, to read this. I have only symbolically started it here. I'll probably actually finish it later in the month. And then I have three more books that I'm hoping to get to these in April, but if I don't, I'm not going to sweat it. The first is the Welcome to Night Vale novel by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner. This is based on the Welcome to Night Vale podcast. I will link information for the podcast for you if you're interested. I actually had not heard of the podcast because I don't really listen to podcasts um, until I saw the novel 
uh, in a bookstore and I was flipping through it and I thought it looked really interesting so I started listening to the podcast. This I would categorize as comedic urban fantasy horror. Um, so maybe it would be good for genre-thon, but uh, I don't think that's when I'm planning on reading this. The podcast is wacky and weird and creepy and hilarious, um, so if that sounds like something you might enjoy, you might check out the podcast. And this book is just absolutely gorgeous. I have it from the library, but if I like it, this might be a book I'd want to own on my shelf. So I'm very much looking forward to reading this. The next book I have is one that I actually have some trepidation about because it's gotten some very negative reviews, and that is Her Fearful Symmetry by Audrey Niffenegger. This was sort of her follow-up to The Time Traveler's Wife, and a lot of people seem to think it really suffers in comparison. It has, however, been a really long time since I've read The Time Traveler's Wife, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to enjoy this more than a lot of people just because I'm jumping into it without such a direct comparison in my mind, but we'll see. This is about a pair of 20-year-old twin sisters inheriting their aunt's London apartment, and I believe this has a paranormal aspect to it. We'll see. The last book I have from the library here is Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. This is the third and final book of the Daughter and Smoke and Bone trilogy. Uh, you can hear what I thought of the second book in my wrap-up from whatever month I wrapped that up in. I wrapped that up in, in, in February. February? Yes. So I will link my February wrap-up for you so you can see what I thought of the second book. This is young adult fantasy and I really enjoy Lainey Taylor's writing style. And that is my slightly but delightfully scattered mess of a uh, TBR for April. I'm very excited to just sort of muddle my way into all of these books and I am, I am excited to participate in genre -thon. This is my first readathon I've participated in and um, Thank you to the lovely people who are organizing it. Please let me know if you're also participating in Genrethon. I'd like to know. Okay, uh, that is all for this video. Bye for now.